All right, welcome everybody. We've got a great match for you today. It is round seven, which means it's playoff season for Rocket League. This has uh, been a really great inaugural season for us. Uh, we've all learned a lot through this process, and we're starting to really put these teams uh, together and put some competitive teams uh, out there competing nationally against kids from across the country. Here you see our lineup for our Hanover Horde uh, from left to right, uh, my left over this side. Uh, is uh, Bearbo Fraggins. Uh, next to him in the middle is Pickman. And on the far right side there, we have Gorilla152. So these are your Hanover Horde Rocket League gold team for this summer 21 season. So uh, let's get everything set up here. We'll be ready and uh, ready to crack into these matches, hopefully here in just a few minutes once we get Lake Norman online. Uh, so stick with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> Esports is a multi billion dollar industry. We're taking that and we're delivering it to elementary and middle school kids. Yo, you guys are, you guys are getting pretty wrecked by All right, push up with me, push up with me. We're bridging the gap between conventional athletics and competitive gaming. We have kids working on the same technology that the pros are training to improve their skills. When did you lose? When did you lose? Why did you lose? Like the games that you lost, why did you lose? Through a partnership with the Positive Coaching Alliance, our coaches go through a double goal certification. They learn not only how to work through the strategies of the different games they're playing, but they also work through how to impact these kids' lives in a positive way. They get to mark and highlight behaviors and attributes that will lead to long-term life skills. You love being Battle Mercy. Yes, Battle Mercy. No, it's not. Why don't you tell us your favorite move that uh, Mercy does? So what brought me to XP League is the experience of my children. I had always hoped and wanted them to be a part of a youth athletics team. So I realized they all love competitive gaming. So why not marry their passion with what I'm hoping for them to learn and achieve and put healthy, solid values in place in something that the kids want to do and are excited about doing. Yes, Boots Diva! Experience points. Every game awards experience points. And what we built here is an experience. Professional level equipment, the top tier partners in esports. They're also getting the experience of sportsmanship values, of working with mentors and coaches, and of being part of the team. It's all about the experience. I need you. I need you. Nice. Go. Who's in? Now. 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 Push in. We got you. Good game. They say that you can see the devil dance on idle hands. So we put in work. Amen. Put the city on my shoulder blades and mold the waves. Focus on the future when it's rolling. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. Oh, 
Let me show you how the boss does it. Uh-huh. We put in work. All right, welcome back. We're just uh, getting things set up. I got Lake Norman up here on comms, and we're communicating with them. They're getting their last couple players in their seats, so we should be ready to go here in just a minute. Again, round seven, first round of the playoffs for this uh, Horde team. Uh, we got a couple more matches coming up later today. We've got our Hanover Heroes and our Hanover Hydra taking on two teams uh, from Madison, the Eagles and the Marvels. Uh, so they always field great teams, just like this Lake Norman team. Um, so we should be good to go here in just a couple minutes uh, to kick this off. Again, it's a best of five match. First round of the playoffs. Winner goes on. This Horde team might actually play twice today. If they win, they're going to have to play Franklin later on today at 6 p.m. So keep your fingers crossed. They keep themselves uh, alive in the playoffs. Uh, this is a good team. They've improved each and every week. Really proud of their play and their improvement so far this season. So um, we'll just uh, wait. Uh, probably about another 30 seconds. We'll get them online and we'll get this thing started uh stick with us as a girl who wasn't quite like everyone else she loved riding her bike and going on adventures and she was always getting into mischief but then one day with a little help from dad she turned that mischief into the yummiest crunchiest snacks around it seemed like the whole town was hungry for something new the little utz girl loved sharing the crunchy snacks her family made together because they knew just being yourself is the funnest adventure of all utz the crunch that connects us all. Dude, I got all the skills that hurt. I got the mercy. Yeah, I'm not gonna respect it. I don't have this woman.
All right, welcome back, everybody. We're just getting ready to get this thing moving. Uh, let me just jump over here and get this off so we can get the main screen rocking. All right, here we are. And this match is kicking off with our Hanover Horde gold team taking on the Raptors from Lake Norman, North Carolina. Again, first round of the playoffs. Got it down here by the Raptors side of the field. They do a nice job clearing it over the top of the net. Good job following PC6 here. That is Gorilla152. Barebow Fragons keeping it in the corner there. Nice job trying to get it to the net, but the Raptors clear it out. Here you see PC4, Pickman taking a run at it. Does get it there to the side of the field. A little back and forth, but uh, Barebow Fragons going to knock it down his end. Raptors are in green. The Horde are in purple, except for PC5. He's got the little peanut. He's an orange car uh, this time, so that might throw us off a little bit, but we'll keep track of that. PC6, Gorilla 152, taking it off the top corner. Center of the field. Good job by Bear Boy Fragons to knock it away. Even match so far. 0-0-1 zero, zero, here so far. Good shot there. Ooh, gets in the corner and a good shot and goal by Gorilla152. Knocks it to the left side of the net. You see they tried to clear it. Gorilla152 comes in, picks up that boost, knocks it to the left corner just past their goalie, sneaks it in. That's going to give the Horde a 1-0 lead early in this match. It's important to get that first score. So good job there, Horde. Good challenge at the ball. Ball falls away. The Raptors, Bearbo Fragons, clearing it off to the left side of the field there. Good shot there by Gorilla. It's going to go off the top. Follow up there by Gorilla again, and that's going to knock it in. His second goal of the game, 2-0 Horde. So great start here. You can see he shoots it. It's going to bounce off top of the net. He's going to follow up his own shot and knock it to the back of the net. 2-0 Horde, 3 minutes, 45, 7, 47 seconds left on the clock. Good showing so far here by the Horde in the first round of the playoffs. Nice little pinch that's going to send it off to the side. Gorilla's going to center it down there to the front of the net. Going to follow it up again. Oh, and good job. Good defensive play there by the Raptors to knock it back. Following Pickman here as him and Gorilla chase it into the corner. Good job. Keep it away from the goal. Gorilla's going to knock it forward towards the goal, but it's going to be wrapped, knocked away by one of the Raptors players. As he works his way back. Here you see Barebo Fragons going up a little aerial. He gets knocked away as the ball travels towards the net. Good centering opportunity here. Followed by Pickman, just misses, tried to center it. He's going to follow this around, though, as Barebo Fragons knocks it into the corner. Pickman, there also follow up, tips it toward the center. It's going to be followed up by Barebo Fragons. He's going to knock it in for the third goal of the game. Good teamwork there. Knock into the corner. Pickman follows up. Nice try right off the edge of the net. And Barebo Fragons seals it in for a 3 0 lead on this tough Raptors team from Lake Norman, North Carolina. So good job so far here by the Horde. Nice pinch there in the center. Followed up here by PC6. Good detonation there by PC6. That ball's going to trickle towards the goal and knock it in. And we got a hat trick today for Gorilla152. Doing a really good job in there. Following up his own shots. Has the demo on the opposing team. And follows the ball into the goal. Making sure it goes in as Lake Norman travels back to try to defend. So 4 nothing lead here for the Horde. Things are coming together nicely in this first match. And Barebow Fragons going to be knocked back the other way. Good demo takes out Barebow Fragons by the Raptors. Ball's going to travel dangerously here to the front of the net, but the Horde do a good job knocking it back into that corner. This could be a good opportunity as the ball travels for the Raptors, but the uh, Horde do a good job crossing and getting that clear of the front of the net. Another good opportunity here for the Raptors as they center it, but it sails across. Nobody's there to punch it in. Good knock away there by Gorilla152 that's going to take the ball to the opposite side of the field. But the Raptors being really aggressive, knowing they have to be aggressive to get back into this game. A little missed aerial there by Barbo, but followed up by Pickman to knock it down their side of the field. So here's an opportunity for the Horde. Oh, Pickman misses on his little aerial. Barbo is going to try to track it back. Gorilla's going to come in. Nice little dribbling action here right in front of the net. Sets it up, and he's just going to drive it all the way in for his fourth goal of the game. Good job there by Gorilla152, PC6. A little uh, contact between the two teammates, but nice little dribble. Nifty little bounce over the opposing player's head uh, to drive it in to give the Horde a 5-0 lead. Two minutes left in this match. Remember, this is a best of five, so getting that first, uh, first round match is critical. 
And the Horde are doing exactly what they need to do. Nice up uh, opportunity here. Raptors do a good job of knocking it back into the corner. PC4, Pickman. There goes Bearbo Fragans tries to get it. P Pickman does get it. Raptors knock it away, though, and smartly knock it into the corner. The Horde have been really aggressive. The ball has been on the Horde side of the field the majority of this game. Uh, so they've just been doing a good job playing a solid defensive game and then taking the opportunities to, oh, the, the Raptors give them. See, that was a good chance there, but the Raptors did a nice job knocking that away. Nice shot here. It's going to follow up just off the top of the goal. Gorilla 152 almost had another good follow up by his teammate. That looked like to be a Pickman. Had a good shot. Pickman's going to follow this along, but uh, Raptors going to be right there cycling back. Set up on defense. Raptors have a good opportunity here with it being centered. See if they can knock it out. They do a good job, but the Horde are right there to knock it as they've been all game, right? In good position uh, to knock the ball back every time the Raptors threaten. Trickling down to the Horde side of the field this time. This is a good opportunity to see Bearbo Frank is going up. Nice aerial into the ball to knock it in. Excellent play. He goes high up, long distance. He knew that was coming in. Floats up there just enough. Gets a nice little spin and tips it in for his second goal of the game. So everybody's getting in on the action here. Great match so far for the Horde. Little pinch there at the middle. Ball doesn't travel really anywhere at this point. Bearbo Fragans knocks it back towards the Horde side of the field, but Raptors come right back and knock it that way. A little collision there between the Horde members. Raptors got an opportunity here. Looks like they're going to drive it in for their first goal, make it at 6-1, 24 seconds left on the clock. The match isn't over yet. Uh, you can definitely get some serious rally scoring going on here uh, with Rocket League, uh, but that's a lot of ground to make up in a short amount of time. So let's see how uh, if the Horde are able to finish this one out strong. So good job by the Horde to knock that one away. They just need to eat up as much of this clock as possible is what they're doing. Good job by the Raptors to knock it away. Bearbo Fragon's going to challenge that one with one of the Raptors in the middle of the field. And as soon as this ball touches the ground one more time, that's going to be the end of the match. They're going to try to keep it in the air, but uh, this match is pretty much over at this point. And the Horde will take the first round. So let's go ahead and look at that. You can see PC6, four goals uh, on the day. Uh, so good job, Gorilla152. Uh, Bearbo Fragans had two goals and Pickman with two assists there. Um, so just really great team effort as we uh, prep for this next round. Let's go ahead and uh, credit the... Uh, Credit the Horde with their first goal or their first points of the match. So there you go. one nothing Horde. Again, best of five here. So we'll ready up for this next match. 33 seconds. We'll take a short break and come right back. Uh, so stick with us. Dude, I got all the kills that first time. I got the mercy. Yeah, I'm not going to respect it. All right, welcome back. Uh, if you missed your just tuning in, the Horde came out strong in that first match. 6-1 victory over the Lake Norman Raptors. But uh, I think we've all seen these matches can go, one round can go one favor of one team. And then the next round, that team strikes right back with a little bit of a, a little bit of coaching and a little bit of redirection. But an early shot on goal there almost sneaks its way in. Great early shot there by the Horde to keep the pressure on this Lake Norman Raptors team. But here comes the Raptors. Oh, good knockaway there by Gorilla 152. Knocks it away as the Raptors were threatening. See the ball. The good aerial trying to get nice job by a Gorilla to pull that off the top of the roof. That's one of the things we worked on this past practice. So it's nice to see the stuff you work on in practice start to kind of translate into practice. Uh, start translate into the matches I say nice aerial uh, but a nicer job by the Raptors take that one and knock that away good opportunity here you can see that's trickling up rolling towards the center of the net but the Raptors do a good job knocking it back into that corner a 
little back and forth here as the Horde try to keep it down their side of the field, but the Raptors can knock it down their side. Ooh, dangerous little tip here in front of the net. It looks like the Horde will be able to clear that out to the corner. Good job by Gorilla152 to knock it down. Following Pickman here as he chases this down. Ooh, but good job by the Raptors to knock it up and over the far side of the net. Pickman's going to track it down, but the Raptors are going to get to it a little bit early. Gorilla152 goes up and gets that one, tips it back. Good centering opportunity here. Pickman's going to center it. Followed up by Gorilla152. Nice pass there by Pickman to Gorilla to send that one in. You can see tracks this pass, bounces nicely off the corner, tips it off the back of the stadium. And Gorilla152 punches it in for the first goal of the game. Three minutes, 29 seconds left. Horde have the lead, one nothing. Little pinch there. Ball falls in favor of the Raptors. Bearbo Fraggins is there quickly to follow that along. He's going to follow up his own shot here. Good opportunity. But the Raptors knock it away just in time before he's able to translate on that. But good job by Gorilla152. Knock it back towards their side of the field. Pickman with a little bit of a miss. Cross across the field. Looks like Bearbo Fraggins is going to be able to pick that up. Check that. That's Gorilla152. Nice long range shot and finds the back of the net for his second goal of the game. He is on a tear this match. Gorilla152. Nice solid hit. Tips it over. Raptors a little bit out of position there being aggressive. All three of them that same location chasing that ball. That uh, often means danger and it did in this case giving the Horde a 2-0 lead. Ball's rolling up into the corner here. Gorilla152 is going to pick that up off the back wall. Pickman's going to knock that back and up over. No Raptors back. Oh, one does just sneak back in time, but it's a little bit too little too late. And Pickman's going to get his first score of the match. Nice job there following up his own shot. He goes and tips it up nicely. That Raptor player's trying to get back, but just doesn't in enough time. And that ball finds its way in for a 3 nothing lead. Everybody getting in on the action on this match. It's fun to see. Ball favors the Horde there on that kickoff. Raptors drive it back the other way. Nice challenge by Barbo Fraggins to keep it at midfield. Raptors got a good beat on it. Oh, got a little tipped into the center of the net. Little gift there by the Horde. Uh, I'm not sure who that was in the corner. Tried to tip it away. Looks like that was Barbo Fraggins. Kind of tips it up. Centers the ball perfectly for the Raptors. And that's going to give the Raptors their first points of the game. Three to one. Horde. Two minutes, 37 seconds left on the clock here. Ball goes the direction of the Raptors. Tricky little bounce, though. So it looks like the Horde's going to be able to convert on that and get it to move in their direction. Nice shot there off the tip at midfield. Gorilla 152 comes in nicely. Nice little pass by Barebo Fraggins. Raptors come up and try to challenge it. Both of them come up and try to challenge that. One of them should have stayed back, tipped it over both their head, and they get that point straight back for one Horde. Two minutes, 28 seconds left on the clock. Ball's going to find its way. This is a big risk. Oh, Bearbo Fraggins looks like he comes across and tries to hit it, but misses it again. Nice, easy shot for this uh, Raptors team, and they have the uh, lead 4-2. to two. You see him come streaking across, tried to tip that away. You could hear him communicating in there saying whose ball it was, but uh, just a miss and led to an easy goal. 4-2, two, 2 minutes, 22 seconds left on the clock. Solid pinch. That's going to go straight up. Drop right there at midfield, right where it started. PC6. Girl's going to try to go up and get it. He's going to miss a little bit on the aerial. He's going to smartly work his way back into defense. This ball's going to trickle right in the front. Good tip up there on defense by the Horde to drive it up and over. It looked like it was going to fall right in front of the net. Here you're following Pickman. He's got a good lead on it off the back of the goal. See if somebody can go up and convert. Pickman's going to drive around, though, and knock it back toward their side of the field. Following uh, PC5, that's Bearbo Fraggins here. Oh, it's going to trickle dangerously in front again. Good job by the Raptors to keep it centered. Uh, but, uh, but good job by Gorilla152 to knock it back as well. Ball's kind of in an awkward position here. Everybody's driving under it, but Pickman gets a little hand on it as Lake Norman knocks it away. One minute, 28 seconds left on the clock. The clock favors the Horde since they have the lead. Uh, see if they can keep these uh, this clock ticking off and get their second round victory of this match so far. Following Barebow Fraggins there, unable to clear it out. Grill is going to follow up. It's going to fall pretty much midfield, a little bit three-quarters midfield. 
You can see Pickman's following up his shot. Tipped nicely in front. It's followed up by Gorilla. 1-5-2 for his fourth goal of the game, making it a 5-4, 5-2 uh, lead for these Horde members. They are just doing a solid job this match against this tough team from uh, Lake Norman. All right, here comes the Horde charging in. The ball's going to go in favor of the Raptors, but we got PC6, Gorilla 1-5-2 standing back there waiting for it. Nice little aerial. You can see Pickman here following up the ball. Ooh, knocked across and out in front of the net by the Raptors. So good job there on defense for the Raptors. They're going to drive it down their side of the field. It's going to tip nicely in front of the net for them, but the Horde are there to knock it away. So nice defensive job there by the Horde. Raptors knock it back again. Bear Bear Fragans trying to go back and get it. It's going to bounce over his head into the corner, which is where you want it. Horde are threatening again. This is going to bounce off the back wall. Ooh, and a couple Horde members run into each other. Unable to convert there. It's going to trickle down into this corner. Grill is going to stop. Looks like he might be able to convert and head the direct direction. Passes it up to Pickman. Pickman's going to dribble it down. Again, the, the clock is in favor of the Horde with just nine seconds left. Looks like this one's going to do it at this point. The Horde just need to eat up these last couple seconds. And once it touches, this game is over. Raptors going to try to keep it in the air. But that's going to do it. The Horde are going to get their second points of the match. So it's a 2-0 lead for this Horde. There you see PC6 again. Four goals. Wow. Uh, Pickman got in with a goal. And uh, Bearbo Fragans had an assist on that match. So, so again, great job by all these Horde members. Uh, really playing solid match. Let's go ahead and credit the Horde with their second points of the game. And uh, we'll go ahead and take a quick break before we get into this next match. So uh, stick with us. Dude, I got all the skills at that first I've got the mercy. Yeah, I'm not going to respect it. I don't have any. Get up, get up, get up. I need heals. I need heals. You're on the point. All right, nice job, guys. They've only got six seconds. I'm going to hold it as long as I can. They have no kicks. Nice. 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 All right, we're back, and uh, we are in this match. Again, the Horde have a 2 nothing lead. If you're just joining us, the Horde have been looking really solid. This game threatening here. See if they can convert here. Nice job by Gorilla152 to keep it in the zone. Follow-up center. This is a good opportunity here. Nice knock-in by Pickman for the first goal of this third match. You can see the Raptors tried to knock it away. Gorilla 152, nice job centering the ball just as his teammate Pickman was, was coming in. A big part of this game is anticipating what your teammates are going to do with the ball, keeping your spacing, maintaining your rotations, and the Horde are doing exactly that. Kind of everything they've learned up until this season is coming together, and they're playing just a really solid match. Following Pickman here, it's going to knock across, kind of stay center field. Raptors are going to knock it down their way. Bearbo Fragans waiting back here in the goal. Raptors try to knock it in. Nice uh, attempt at a shot here. Knocked up and over the top of the net by the Horde defense. Going to be knocked into the corner by Bearbo Fragans. Raptors are going to chase it in, kind of battling for the ball. Nice job by Gorilla152. This one might trickle in, but the Raptors do a nice job of getting back and just doing a backflip. Just had enough time to knock it away. Another good opportunity here. Pickman's going to follow this one through, but Raptors, again, challenge. Nice defense there by the Raptors on these last couple of drives by the Horde. Gorilla 152 is going to knock it down. Good attempt here. If Gorilla 152 knocks it towards the goal. One of the Raptors was right in the goal, though. Knocks it back. Bearbo Fragans takes it back to their side of the field. See if he can center it here for one of his teammates. Nice center. Nobody's home to knock that one in, though. Uh, so really good opportunity there. Really good attempt. Good shot here. Big follow-up by Pickman, but a little bit of a tough angle. Try to convert on that one, but uh, Horde do a good job keeping it in their own zone. Raptors do knock it back and gain uh, gain their own zone there. A little dangerous here. They center it, but none of the Raptors are there to take advantage, and the Horde are heading there back down the field in their direction. Good opportunity here. Gorilla 152 gets his first goal of the match. 
Nice job there following up on his little, he dunks it into the zone. The Raptors come up, try to challenge it. Does a nice job getting some elevation under the ball, getting over that Raptor defender and knocks it in. Three minutes, 15 seconds left on the clock. Hoard up 2-0 in the match and in this game. All right, ball's going to favor the Horde here, gain their zone. Raptor's going to go up and try to get it. They miss on the aerial. Uh, so this is an opportunity for the Horde. They're trying to clear it into their corner. Good demo there. Takes out Gorilla 152. But a good shot there by Bebo Frank. It's just off the top rail. Uh, doesn't find its way home. Uh, but they still main the, maintaining the zone here. You see Pickman getting knocked around a little bit. He's got an opportunity of a follow-up, uh, but the Raptors get the ball just before him. Oh, Raptors have an easy opportunity here, and they will take it in. You can see the Horde were a little bit out of position, being a little aggressive, a little slow getting back there. You can see uh, Bearbo Fragans tried to challenge that ball just a little bit late. They dunked it over his head, and the follow Raptors player will knock that one in. So 2-1 Horde. Two minutes, 43 seconds, 43 seconds left on the clock. All right, ball's going to favor the Raptors there. PC6 grill, 152 is going to knock that back down toward their side of the field. Good opportunity here. This is going to trickle right in, and he should knock that in easily, which he does. His second goal of the game, Gorilla 152. He has been uh, clearly the goal leader and the team leader for this match. You see both him and Barebo Fraggins were in for that one, but uh, good job chasing and following up his own shot. 3-1 Horde, 2 minutes, 33 seconds left on the clock. If they win this match, then they go on to the next round of the playoffs, which will actually be here in just a couple hours. Nice follow-up there by PC6, Girl 152 to knock another point onto the board. Here you see, again, nice uh, high off the wall here. All three of the Horde members were going after that one to knock that one goal, and that's 4-1 uh, to the Horde. So again, as I was mentioning, the Horde, if they win this uh, last round, They'll move on to the next round of the playoffs, which actually happens today at 6 p.m., uh, where they'll take on the uh, Franklin, a team from Franklin, Tennessee. Uh, really good, solid team. Um, so it's going to be a tough match. But if they play anything like they've played so far this game, uh, I'm pretty excited to see what they're going to do. All right, Barebo Fraggins knocks it, keeps it in the zone. Raptors are trying to knock it away into the corner. Nice opportunity here, Barebo Fraggins with the tip from his teammate. Nice uh, pass there. I believe that was Pickman that tipped it up back over to center. Good job, Pickman, to knock it towards the goal. I think it would have gone in anyway, uh, but Barebo Fraggins swings in there and makes sure that finds its way into the goal and gives the Horde a 5-1 lead here. Two minutes, two seconds left on the clock. Ball's going to trickle up here into the corner. Good demo there by uh, by Lake Norman to knock Barebo Fragans out temporarily. As they maintain and keep it in their zone, but the Barebo Fragans is there to knock it away along with his teammates. Following Gorilla 152 here. Barebo Fragans knocks it into the zone for the Horde. This is going to trickle around nicely, see if they can convert. Raptors do a good job keeping it in the corner, but a good follow up there. Nice pass there by uh, PC5. That was Barebo Fraggins. Does a nice job. Looks like the Raptors did a good job knocking away. Barebo does a good job tipping it over to his teammate Pickman. And again, everybody's getting on the action today. Fun game to watch for this Horde team that's really starting to come together and play as a solid team. All right, that's going to go in the favor of the Horde, but the Raptors are quickly there to do that. Nice challenge by Pickman to knock it back into the zone. Trickle here in front of the net. Looks like another opportunity. Oh, just off the right top crossbar for Barebo Fraggins as he went up, tried to get that. 6-1 lead for the Horde. Minute 13 seconds left on the clock. Oh, good shot there by the Raptors. Going to bounce off the crossbar, though. Yeah, some days, so, sometimes the ball just doesn't fall your way, and it seems to be one of those days for the Raptors. Uh, really solid team. Blake Norman always puts together solid teams, and it's been a well-played game so far by them, but I think this Horde team's just really starting to gel at the right time and uh, figure out how to play together as a team. You can see the rotations are working really well. They're doing a good job following each other's shots. They're being really disciplined defensive-wise, moving their way back, not trying to, to challenge every opportunity. But when they're given opportunities, they've converted well. 
30 seconds left on the clock. If this uh, match ends with the current score, uh, the Horde will advance to the next round of playoffs. Again, they'll play at 6 p.m. today. Good challenge here by Raptors. As the ball trickles to the front of the net, they try to go up and get it. Uh, can't quite. Good follow-up shot, but that's going to go off the backboard. Good opportunity. Oh, they just keep tipping it off the top of the net. You just, uh, like I said, sometimes the ball just doesn't fall your way. Good follow-up by a pick band. He gets demoed, but the ball finds its way in, and they're going to get a 7-1 lead here with just five seconds left in this match. All right, five seconds left on the clock. Good job by Raptors here and knock that in. It's not over yet. Look at that. Looks like the uh, Horde members uh, f miscommunicated who was going to challenge that one. Um, and that's going to trickle its way in. Barebo Fraglins is back there for the defense, but he didn't expect it as quick as he did. So a little miscommunication there. Still things to work on uh, with this team. As you can see, they uh, obviously come up and challenge that one. As soon as this touches the ground, it's going to be over. All right, so great victory there for the Horde. We can see uh, Gorilla152 again, the lead scorer, three goals. But Pickman comes in with three goals, gets a hat trick of his own, and Bearbow Fragans gets a goal as well. So I'm going to see if they want to play a couple more for fun here. Uh, stick right with us, uh, and we'll be right back to figure that out. So uh, stay tuned. There's a girl who wasn't quite like everyone else. She loved riding her bike and going on adventures and she was always getting into mischief. Then one day, with a little help from Dad, she turned that mischief into the yummiest, crunchiest snacks around. It seemed like the whole town was hungry for something new. The little Utz girl loved sharing the crunchy snacks her family made together, because they knew just being yourself is the funnest adventure of all. Utz, the crunch that connects us all. Over. All right, welcome back, everybody. It looks like that's going to do it. looks like Lake Norman had to jump off. I, I know there's a bunch of matches going on today with the playoffs. they got some Fortnite and Overwatch and other stuff going on. So just want to say congratulations to our Horde as they uh, get through the uh, entry round of these playoffs. They'll play at 6 o'clock tonight. Uh, so come on back to, uh, to, to enjoy that match where we take on Franklin. I think it's the Franklin Storm. I'll have to check that to, to be sure. But either way, Franklin's going to be a tough team. Uh, this was a tough team in the Raptors, so good game to our friends out there in Lake Norman. But, again, come back at 6 o'clock. We've got our Horde. At 7 o'clock, we've got our Heroes. And at 8 o'clock, we got our Hydra. So more playoffs coming this evening. Come right back. Good job, Horde. GG to the Raptors. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot, everybody.